What's up guys, it's your boy Colin Osborne. And in this video with technology at work, we're gonna be talking about the top five go high level workflow automations. These automations are gonna help you put more time back into your business by doing things that a secretary would do, but it's better do being able to do it on automate. And that's the beautiful part about go high level, it's fully customizable. So let's hop into the computer and we'll get started. What's up guys, welcome to Technology at Work and in this video, once again, we're going to be talking about the top five go high level workflow automations. But before we get into the video, make sure you guys go click on the YouTube link right here. Subscribe. It's real easy. And I'm going to be providing out content probably every single day, if not more than once a day. So um, just really appreciate that. Also hit that like button. Appreciate that as well, too. Um, also, other things to cover. Um, check out the blog, a lot of content on there, how to speed your website up, batch content creation, social media scheduler, just different things that's really going to help your business journey um, just to become a more efficient and proficient business owner. So system we're going to be using is, of course, Go High Level to talk about the workflow automations. And if you guys have not already... There, Go High Level is giving a two-way, a two-week free trial to um, Go High Level, and you'll be able to get started for no money down, which is pretty awesome. You're able to essentially start this business model with no money down, and actually start generating business off of your leads and and different types of things using Go High, like High Level, and that's what I use for my business to you know um, operate and deal with my clientele when it comes to the communication platform and so on and so forth. But anyway, so, and there's a bunch of other different resources if you guys haven't checked it out yet um, that will, that I use for my business specifically that help me uh, be successful. So top five workflow automations. Uh, just to go over a little bit about what workflow automations are. Um, it's just essentially an if then statement that you have in your uh, workflow. So if something happens, then this will happen. So if someone submits a discovery form, which is a very, uh, this is probably my first one would be discovery form submission, having the necessary tools in place or triggers in place so that when a survey, which is my discovery form is submitted, then all of these things happen. A user is assigned an email is then sent out to the user, just basically telling them, hey, thank you for submitting the discovery form. And you can upload those templates. Uh, it should be a MailChimp thing come out here. But that MailChimp component is already integrated within the systems and you could essentially uh, apply the templates here. Uh, there's different templates that you can use. I'm not gonna switch that, but there are different templates that you can use at your disposal to um, customize your business experience for your clients. Also, the uh, I have notification emails specifically going to um, myself, so I know when someone submits a form, where it goes. I like to be told in multiple different areas when something has been submitted. So, um, that is the component of the discovery form. Next, we have our database reactivation campaign. And I really like, I really like this ca specific campaign because it allows you to, if you're a dentist or a plumber or an electrician, and you have a list of leads that you've collected over time, you want to offer something. This essentially provides you with the ability to send them through a sp specific types of automations. Now this one here is a little bit more complex, complicated. So we're just going to go through it together. So say a contact tag that I decide to add, let's just do, for example, closed. I want to have closed here. And then my offer is going to be specifically just like, I've got 10 free teeth whitening vouchers here on my desk, or we can say, you know, I have, um, I have 10 spots available next week for uh, consultations at this discount. Submit now to like, you know, cause you're providing some scarcity. 
And then essentially, um, there's a wait step, which provides a set, like before it does anything, it's going to hold anyone at this step. And when you run people through the automation, you'll essentially see like a little like man that kind of pops up right here with the number one that shows that someone is waiting in that step after an hour or waiting until they reply, um, contact replies. So you're going to wait an hour or, or wait till the person replies. Then if they did reply within the hour, which was a yes, then you would, that if and it was, and the reply was positive, then it would then push them towards the next step. So, um, what this is also doing is it aligns with the GDPR or that messaging component. Cause you're not really straight off the bat selling to someone you're saying, Hey, I've got this deal. And if you're interested, please respond with a you know quick yes or no. They respond with a yes. Then you provide more information. Um, if they say no, then you could send out a, or if they didn't respond after an hour, then you would have this wait step with a no, not wait step, just a no, which essentially sends them the next text. So after an hour, this wait thing fired, there wasn't a response. So the trigger, so the automation will then send them through to the next text message, which would be a second attempt. Hey, just checking back to see if you'd be interested in a, you know, the teeth whitening voucher or the, you know, 10 coupons to my restaurant that I'm only giving out to 10 people. Only 10 people get it. After 10, we're not giving out any more. Yeah, you're going to want to say yes to that. Um, then wait for a reply. Same thing happens if the reply is positive. Yes. So this is also part of conditional logic. So if the customer is like, yippee, that sounds great. Give it to me. Then yes. But if they're like, F you or like, nah, stop texting me or whatever the case is, then you're going to get a, and I'm only saying text F you because like people actually say that during your campaigns. So try to have a little bit of a shield, you know, when people are cussing at you, cause it's just, you're talking to real people and they get annoyed sometimes. No, then they get a text message saying no worries. And then that's the end of the automation. Um, and then like the nice part about that is you can literally download an entire list and then create the right hashtag you would then either run an automation or run a trigger that that attaches all of the tags to that um lead list and then it would essentially automatically send them through the particular uh lead automation all right so i'm gonna back out of that <laughs> all right next is a communication automation i think this is very important just so that you know when anyone is hitting you up on your website. Uh, a lot of people uh, don't really know when someone is communicating with them on, on their website and it's very efficient when you can respond to your customers quickly or you know when someone is messaging you on your web chat or you know via your email, that newsletter that you sent out or text message blast you sent out. You can get notifications like that in order to be told when someone is communicating with you. Um, now to save money, I would just simply have an email I would, and notifications. I wouldn't go into having text messages because you can then generate a lot of money if you're having a bunch of text messages that way. Next is the payment processing, um, notification. You can integrate Stripe with go high level and essentially have all of your products and services on go high level and then integrate them into these automations. So when someone buys through the checkout page. Uh, let's just first say, let me go to entrepreneur to CEO and then so this is the, for example, to start the business checkout page, we're going to be launching, launching this course in uh, January. It's a 30 day course. There's four weeks. So we go through four phases of the business of of developing a business from product development to operational management to sales and marketing, and then finally to reputation management and review generation. Um, the plan is, is from a, from zero to 30 days, you know, from start to finish, you should be able to organically walk into a business or networking event and 
build a business of leads through there with an automational system. But anyway, so they fill out this checkout page. These automations are all going to go through. So with the start the business, 297. Well, this is, I'm actually showing you the done for you payment notification, but it's the same thing. Um, but, and the done for you is just essentially where we build out the platform customized to your liking and then provide you with the consultation to uh, utilize that system moving forward. Um, but anyway, so they purchase through that p purchase portal or an offer is granted, then they're going to be getting a welcome email uh, as well as the a membership sign up email, which is automatically set up inside the system. Then the user is going to be signed to me. An opportunity will have then been created. An email notification to myself will be sent out as well as a push notification. And then just for, um, I like to, I like to have notes. So it allows me to know when someone purchased a certain thing at, I can look, I can go into someone's contact and see how many products they purchased. Um, and I think everyone should do that just so you know where people are in the pipeline. Cause you have your pipeline, but the pipeline is going to move based off of what products you purchase. But I would like to know if someone literally bought every product all the way up to the beginning versus someone who's only brought products, you know, just went in and bought the done for you and then, you know, called it a day. Sorry, that's my dog. Um, so this payment notification is very, very efficient when it comes to building out uh, your social media, I mean, excuse me, your uh, like automational workflow managements. Next is a newsletter workflow. And essentially all this is, is when, um, this is essentially how to create a newsletter. Um, so I have it where anytime someone submits a form on my website, like a newsletter form, the newsletter Colin Osborne form, they will then be sent a series of emails. So email series one, 30 minute time delay, then another email series to white list my email. And then this is, you know, another 30 minutes. I'm going to change that to days because, you know, um, I like to, I don't think people want to get three separate emails just bashed in their face like that. But that's how you'd go about creating the newsletter workflow automation. Uh, so I think I gave what it was at the appointment reminder, communicate communication, database reactivation campaign, discovery form submission, the newsletter workflow, and also start the business payment notification. So I just gave you guys six centrally. Um, and that's to start the business off online course payment notification as well, too. Um, there is a loop that you can create. Um, I have it on another, let's see. So there's something that you can create with a loop. So if you have weekly meetings and you don't want to have to worry about like sending out the meeting link and everything like that every single week, you could go and do what is called a, a loop, which essentially um, every week when you apply a certain contact tag, like we had this product called the business desk, and essentially we were creating a back office for a business owner, like a business. And, you know, we provide all the services when it comes to email, text messaging support, virtual assistant support, social media marketing and management support marketing, meaning like the managing their social media profiles. And then, um, and we wanted to have it so that every week there was a, um, an email being sent out to them, telling them they can come and join the, the call. So, um, point blank, what I'm trying to get at is that, uh, you can create a loop and then essentially I have it a step, which they just added, like, you know, maybe a couple months ago, but the go-to step, which every single week from here on out up until, and then there's another automation you could have where if you spe do a specific tag or remove it from this particular loop, but anyone that gets added into the desk would then have access to, would then be sent on a loop with this automatic um, loop every week at that specific time. 
and I have it a wait step time delay 14 days so every 14 days on a Wednesday between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. it's going to fire and send out an email at 10 a.m. saying to our reminder for desk hangout call and then 15 minutes and then it does a thing every two weeks so those are my top workflow automations top six or seven is really what I gave you but I'm just gonna put it at five for the video um, purposes but um, make sure you guys go check out the blog I have a lot of informed content been working hard at that and um, also two week free free trial with go high level um, I'm gonna be providing you guys some extreme goodies like business planning product management product development um, social media management creation and content man content calendar management because this year is gonna be all about content generation that's where social media is out you have to put out an enormous amount of content to be that guy uh, so I want to provide tools on and resources on how you can do that and also you know how you can increase and enhance your workflow so anyways hope this video found you found was valuable please make sure to like comment and subscribe hit that like button love it um if you hit the this button here it automatically subscribes you to the channel just make sure you also hit the push notifications whenever i release a video i'm gonna be releasing out quite a ton of top content in the next couple of months but anyways this is colin osborne with technology at work and i thank you for watching this video and talk soon